Uh, so today's video is pretty much we're gonna be uh, doing some rims. Uh, we're gonna be doing them, I think it's called silver black or black silver. We've never done that color before, so uh, kind of excited to see how that looks with a clear on it. Um, we are still doing the 1K giveaway. We ran into a little issue with that, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, but as of now, go to this video right here, watch the video, sub make sure you're a subscriber, make a comment about the video down in the comment section, and you'll be entered. If you watch the video sometime during the video, there is an Easter egg that explains how you can get double the entries. Um, so go ahead and watch that. So right now, uh, we do have uh, some great giveaways. Uh, High Temp Maskin is doing a giveaway uh, there with their set. Uh, myself, I'm putting uh, these plug, pull plugs in. Uh, Coating is by Co LLC. Uh, they're doing their holder. I actually have one, I love it. Goes on your powder gun. Uh, so you can see the shine through your powder. We got Cardinal, they're doing uh, powder. Uh, I think there's a smooth black, but of course I have a picture here. Tiger Dry Lock, uh, they're, I believe it's candy red or red candy, but again, the picture will be here, so you'll be able to see. 10X is doing a bag of their media. And then Greener Blast Technologies is doing a grab bag. I think it's gonna be like a shirt or something like that for uh, somebody, so. Uh, those are the ones at this point. So explanation on where things may go. Uh, some of these we are allowed to do outside the United States. Other ones we're going to have ship, shipping issues outside the United States. So unfortunately, we will not know what's what until we do the giveaway. It ends up being outside the United States. And then I run into that issue. Um, hopefully none of that exists. Everything goes smooth. Uh, those ones were able to have inside the United States, the other ones outside, whatever, because I know that I have subscribers all over the world. So uh, just a little hiccup uh, dealing with duties and all that BS. So, okay, guys, uh, enjoy the video. And again, uh, go to the, the uh, Green and Blast Technology video that I had to link up before and make sure to watch that video, subscribe, like the video, comment in it, so you can enter our 1K giveaway. Uh, we have a lot of awesome uh, prizes. So, okay guys, enjoy the video. say, well, some dogs have three legs, some have no tail, some are very small, some are very long, and you don't know. How do you know? You play these sort of dumb games with pretty much any word, but they are now constructing an entire world narrative. It's amazing. I have a question for my people. Um, uh, I ask your grandparents and parents if they ever intended any lunches. What the hell? Well, I, I don't open my breakfast that way. If they ever, I don't know, attack black people in the dinner, the milkshakes at them, if they ever attack and believe Speaking with crazy eyes 
into a camera while wearing a mask, a surgical mask, in broad daylight outside. Genius work here. Just gonna say this. Oh, no. If y'all don't mind. I do. I am so sick uh, of right wing men mm. coming into my mentions mm. and asking me The mental health problems associated with gender dysphoria remain extremely damaging, even in particularly accepting societies. But suffering from a mental disorder does not mean that your underlying sex has actually changed. Any more than believing that you're Napoleon Bonaparte makes you Napoleon Bonaparte, or, most flippantly, believing you are too fat when you are actually underweight, as anorexics do, makes you actually too fat. Transgender activists make an objective claim about reality based on subjective internal feelings. That is not sustainable. What's more, transgender activists demand that you go along with all of this and that you abandon reason, biology, physics, because you have to spend your time. If you now consider yourself a transgender person, we have to pretend you were never a member of your original biological. <laughs> steelies uh, we have found the best way to deal with that lip um, is pretty much uh, hot pocket do it kind of light in that area it helps with stopping bubbles and stuff like that um, so we're gonna hot block them lightly uh, then we'll do a cold and then we'll do a clear coat so uh,
I hate this gun. Hate it, hate it, hate it with a passion. That's what I do. I just gun stuff. There. Okay. Now we can get some. See all the framing? Normally we don't have to do the barrels. Uh, customers just, it makes it look more finished when we do the barrels. So I always say take a few extra dollars just to make it look finished even though it really doesn't make a difference. I'm not a person, I don't like glossy black on bad rims. Uh, we're hoping this has enough gray to hide all the imperfections. So, any bad rims like these, uh, like I showed you in the beginning how bad they were, when a customer wants glossy black, I always try to scare them away from gloss black. Gloss black will show any imperfections. Uh, that's why I love that pink sport gray that we did over there. Um, the metallics in that hard. Uh, so the customer wanted black, uh, so he ended up getting this 
silver black or black silver with metallic in it. Um, so we really won't know if that hides anything until after we do the clear coat. Once the clear coat's on it, then we'll be able to tell did this color hide uh, and how close it is to a gloss black because on a shitty rim, you don't want a gloss black. Uh, you will regret you did it um, and it looks like shit. So. Okay. So we've got the first two out and we're gonna get the other two uh, flowing out. So just remember, before you put your top coat, you have to flow them out, of course. Um, so we're gonna be doing flow out right now. I mean, flow out, what an idiot. We've already done flow out and we're gonna be doing a top coat right now. First, I'm gonna test and see if my settings are right. Okay, it's sticking, so I'm good. So, I'll start in the back for the Freeman. If you're not sure what Freeman is, go back and watch some of our other videos. We speak about it pretty much in a lot of videos. Make sure that we can get up and down the crevices. We're still warm. Uh, the reason I'm doing them a little warm is because if you look at my uh, hook, it's dirty. My hook has powder on it, so the ground ain't so good. So if I do it a little warm, it's not going to hurt. And I can still get a nice even coat because you can still see what it's going down as. Interested to see how this color hides. Um, without the clear coat, it didn't hide that well. So I'm very curious to see um, how well it ends up hiding. Let's give a little more powder. Perfect. Okay, that's clear coat's done. I just We'll touch the barrel a little bit. Again, a lot of you guys, some of you guys don't do the barrels. Uh, you don't necessarily have to. Um, we do it just because it makes the product look finished and it's only a couple bucks of powder. Good. 